and welcome to season five of my podcast. Today, my guest is Rajendra Kulkarni, the founder and director of Explore Academy, a learning organization focused on students and teachers' development. Hi, Mr. Kulkarni. Welcome to my show. Hi, Curious Vedant. Uh, how are you doing? It's been a great time uh, meeting you after a long time. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, I'm excited to interview you. Thank you. I am also excited. So, Mr. Kulkarni, I'm curious to know what does Explore Academy do? Yes, Explore Academy uh, uh, does more of training and uh, that's for the student fraternity, more so on mathematics. We are uh, having trainers who are experts in Vedic mathematics, which is a, a Indian ancient arithmetic uh, methods. So it is faster, quicker, and then accurate. So that's one of the uh, you know, subject which we teach. There are other uh, you know, subjects which we also teach using memory techniques. So we run something called as cluster coaching, which uh, you know, the students are uh, you know, asked to come with some clarifications and you know, they, they come with the clarifications and then get it resolved here. So this is on the student fraternity. We also do for uh, teachers on teachers training, on nursery teachers training, as well as for the primary school teachers. We also teach them some methods of teaching called as pedagogy method. So that's what we do in uh, Explore Academy. Wow, I love math. And yeah. Great. Yeah, I really, really like math. I'm, and I'm in my school holidays now, so every day I do math. I love it. Wonderful. If you are good at mathematics, uh, you can actually, uh, it, is, it is going to help you in all the competitive exams. You, you take up any competitive exams, there's something called as uh, aptitude test. And then uh, the intervention of mathematics, that too arithmetic will come, come into existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, I love maths. Good. Good to know that La math is a life science. You yeah. go anywhere, you need uh, mathematics. Yeah. Right. What are the different soft skills that you focus on? Uh, soft skills, which we focus mainly is on communicative skills. Uh, we also train students on interpersonal skills, that is on team dynamics. We also train on attitude management. Mm -hmm. conflict management, anger management, name anything under the banner called uh, soft skill uh, training, we have it. Wow. So it's like you have all sorts of trainings. Yes, we have all sorts of training and then uh, we have, you know, trainers who are specialized in that. So uh, based on the requirement of uh, the student or the candidate, we train them. So, what are the other kinds of soft skills other than these? Uh, we also have uh, for the grown-up uh, students, that is, who are pursuing the degree and masters, uh, we conduct placement training. The placement training has interview skills. Uh, under the interview skills, you have group discussions, do's and don'ts of, uh, you know, during the interview process. We have, uh, again, team building uh, activities, which we conduct. Uh, so we don't uh, conduct all these things only in our academy, but we are also connected with some 300 plus institutions across Karnataka in uh, India. And then uh, we cater to. Wow, well, those are a lot of institutions. Absolutely. Yeah. I was, I was reading the list and it was so many. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Can you give me some examples of the quick math techniques that you teach? Absolutely. Do you have a paper and a pen right now? Um, wait, let me take it out. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So let's uh, do some magic on multiplication uh, problems of two into two digits. Are you ready? 
Okay. Yeah. So uh, just write 22 and then multiply by 28. So put it in a vertical fashion. 22, below that it's 28. So between two, uh, 22, uh, you put a line, vertical line. You know, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Yeah. Okay, now you find on the right-hand side two and eight, right? Yeah. So what is a, I mean, two eights are? Two eights are 16. Yeah, put that 16 down. 22 okay. into 28 is what you're doing. Yeah. Right, two uh, eights are 16. Yeah. And you go to the left-hand side, you see two. Yeah. Right? So take any one, two, and then take the next number of two. What's the next number of two? What comes after two? Three. Three. Just write next to that two. What is three twos? Are? Six. So the answer is six, one, six. Ah. So that's so simple. Yeah. Right? Instead of going uh, a three-step method, you can as well go for a single-step method. And this is called as friends method. Okay. As you and me are friends, yeah. the, numbers, the numbers also have friends. Okay. Let's take up one more example. Take okay. a 45 times 45. 45 below 45? Yeah. Multiplication. On the right-hand side, you see 5 and 5 is there. Yeah. By 5s are? 5 5s are 25. Right. Four's next number is again five. Yeah. Four fives are? Four fives are 20. That's right. The answer is 2025. Yeah. Isn't that's, it easy? Yeah, that's simple. Right. So we have so many techniques. This is just the tip of an iceberg. Uh -huh. If you come down to uh, our academy next time, I'm going to teach you a lot of techniques. And you can be faster than your teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> excited? That's good. Yeah, I'm excited. So we teach uh, students to uh, uh, start loving mathematics. Mm -hmm. And the, the most critical part in mathematics is uh, the arithmetic part because it has got four or five steps. So to make their life easier, we try to make uh, them get the answer in maximum two steps. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this was actually these techniques were invented by uh, you know great mathematicians uh, who were uh, you know the saints, the Indian saints. So how how the Indian saints were able to predict the exact distance from Earth to any planet or to the Moon, uh, you know more than ten thousand or twenty thousand years ago. Uh, it's all because of Vedic maths. This Vedic maths came or uh, evolved from Vedas. It evolved from Vedas. So the Vedas are so powerful. So if uh, people would uh, love mathematics, then I think they should love these Vedic maths also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've never done Vedic maths. Yeah. Okay, You. I think you can learn. I can teach yeah. you. Thank you. Because even when I was in India, we were doing normal maths. Absolutely. Not and really. those maths techniques are uh, given by our Britishers. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been continuing using that. But uh, we can try the alternate method and make our learning process easy. Yeah. This is, this is very fast, the method you just told me. So Absolutely. I'm going to use it in school now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, some people can be very forgetful. Even I'm forgetful sometimes. Right. Can you share memory techniques? Absolutely. So uh, let's take one example. Uh, you drink water. Yeah. Well, that was a foolish question I asked you. Everybody <laughs> drinks water. Yeah. And, uh, if I ask you uh, some six properties of water, uh, is it possible for you to recall? Or should I list it down? Yeah. And then we can, we can memorize that. Okay, let me help you out in the interest of time. Uh, water is colorless. So you write C. You just write, keep writing those letters which I say. 
water is colorless. So write it horizontally, okay, in a straight line. So water is colorless, C. So okay. color starts with C, right? Okay, yes, yeah, C. Okay, uh, water is tasteless, that is T. T, okay. And uh, water uh, is odorless. Yeah, odorless. It doesn't have smell. Uh, you know, the um, uh, water is shapeless. Yeah, it's shapeless. Yeah, it occupies the shape of any container mm -hmm. or a vessel. Okay. And then the boiling point of water is how much? Um, 100 mm. degrees Celsius. Absolutely. So B stands for boiling point of water. Okay. And the last one, which uh, the the property is universal solvent. Water is a universal solvent. Okay. Most, of, most of the solid material gets dissolved. So it is called as a universal solvent. Okay. Now, can we try making two words of three letters each? Okay. So it's just a puzzle for you. Two words of three letters. three letters. So mix and match. You should not repeat the same letters in the six letters. Okay, so... The one which you sleep on it is called as... You have a cot. C-O-T. Ah, yes. You have cot. So you strike C-O-T and write. So next one is bus. B-U-S. Yeah. So either the bus is on the cot or cot is on the bus. Ah. So interesting. So C stands for what? Colorless. Yeah. O is odorless. Yeah. E is tasteless. Yes. B is boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Yes. U is a universal solvent. Yeah. And S is shapeless. Absolutely. So you reverse it, you get the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, in an examination, if they, if they ask you six properties of water, this is the method which you can use. And this method is called as mnemonic method. Mm -hmm. M-N-E-M-O-N-I-C. -E uh, mnemonic method. Mnemonic method. Yeah. And uh, this is applied for all those answers which has got multiple points like this. We had six points. Colorless, tasteless, odorless, boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, universal solvent, shapeless. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So there is uh, yet another method which is called as acronym method. Okay. Acronym method is again, you know, you need to pull out the starting letters of the uh, words and you can coin a single word. For example, but L A S E R, light L should be capital, amplification A should be capital. Yeah. Then B Y should be small letters. Yeah. Uh, and emission, uh, you know, light amplification by stimulated emission. So it's it's light amplification stimulate, stimulated emission emission of radiation. That's the laser. Yes. So this method is called as acronym method. A C or yeah. N-Y-M. Yeah, acronym. Acronym. Right? So isn't it easy for you to recall? All you have to do is just memorize it once or twice. And you can actually hit the examination paper. Yeah. <laughs> right? And uh, we also do this uh, exercise with students and we run competitions. And anybody who memorizes this, we, they get reward points. Wow, that, that must be fun. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, we conduct a six hours workshop in a school and we, we take the answers from uh, them and then simplify the learning process. Mm -hmm. So we also give reward points. With these reward points, they also are eligible for trophies and medals. So we run like a competition. So education is fun. Yeah. But one should not make education funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? 
Some students simply go to school uh, just for fun. But, you know, if they can apply fun in, uh, you know, remembering things uh, which is related to their academics, that's going to help their future. Yeah, it will. Right. So we do a lot of things. We do this. We also run a technical training for Java, Python, Selenium. These are all the computer languages. Yeah. That's for people who are studying engineering or bachelor in computer application. So we, this is a finishing school kind of a, uh, you know, course where they they are trained for three months uh, for almost around 400 hours. And then uh, we refer them to some companies for, uh, you know, getting a job. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing coding right now. Yeah. Wow. So like good. now that it's my holidays and I have lots of free time, I, I just do some coding. Very nice. Good. You should start learning new things. Yeah. And, and since your name uh, is Curious Vedant, you are always curious to learn new things. Yeah, I am. <laughs> good. So anything you would like to ask? Well, how can me and my list, how can my listeners and I reach out to you if they want to learn learn more of these techniques? Uh, they can actually actually call uh, my number. Yeah. 9845251996. And uh, this is uh, in when I took this number, it came, uh, you know, accidentally to me and then I was thinking how to memorize my own number and then I found one memory technique mm-hmm. 98452 is a yeah. Airtel series Airtel is a service provider in India yeah. so it's 98452 is an Airtel series yeah the next one is 5 5th mm-hmm. month I got married that is in the month of May and the last four uh, digits is 1996. My son was born. Oh. So it came accidentally to my mind that I can remember this very easily. Yeah, yeah you can. So uh, wherever I see anything, I need to simplify. And that's how I scored 100 out of 100 in my mathematics and my social science. I love social science. I scored 100 out of 100 when I was in school. In my 12th standard, I scored 100 out of 100 in science and physics. We conduct online classes also. So through Zoom, I can uh, help them out uh, to get these techniques. The quick math, we have, uh, we call this as quick math techniques. And Uh there are three levels uh, in this. Each level has got 10, 10 hours. Yeah. And... Congratulations of getting 100 out of 100. Yes, thank you. But that 100 is kept for all the students. Mm -hmm. I only suggest that uh, you should not give any discount on that 100 when you're scoring, when you're writing an examination. Yeah. So that 100 is kept for all the students. And then somebody asked me, uh, how on this earth you can actually score 100 out of 100? So I said that that 100 was kept for me. I grabbed it. Yeah. If you work hard, you'll be able to get it, right? Absolutely. Just working hard is not sufficient. As the saying goes, work works. Hard work still works. Smart work pays. Uh Smart work is just using some techniques. Uh So you don't have to really buy hard. You don't have to really... Prepare on the previous day to the examination. You can just practice on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. So our academy has got a history of, uh, uh, you know, getting 100 out of 100 in mathematics where the students who have enrolled in our academy. Wow, that that's nice. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Dear listeners, we'll, we'll put Mr. Kulkarni's phone number in the show notes. Thank you. What made you choose to do what you are doing now? What did you want to be as a child? I always, uh, see, when I completed my 10th grade, I always wanted to become a teacher. 
because I loved mathematics and I wanted to become a math teacher. Yeah. So I went on to take up science and then I completed my degree in science. And yeah. then I, I took up, uh, you know, uh, the master's in uh, mathematics. And then, uh, you know, I wanted to get into a school as a teacher. But uh, during those days, the teachers were not paid well. So uh, my parents suggested me to get into some corporate um, job. So I got into a corporate, but I never left the passion of teaching. So I became a trainer. So uh, my teaching is there right from the beginning. And then after 22 years, I left everything working for any company and became a math teacher. So I'm pursuing my passion. So I always wanted to become a math teacher and I became a math teacher. What are your hobbies? My hobby is listening to any kind of music, especially Kishore Kumar's Hindi oh, yes. songs. I love Kishore Kumar, Lata Mangeshkar and Mohammad Rafi songs. So either it, it is instrumental or it could be uh, vocal. I love to listen to any number of things. Yeah, even I like Kishore Kumar songs. That's right. My another hobby is to play chess with students. So when you, you when you play chess, you always uh, uh, understand how to build strategies for your own life. So it is also a life skill if you practice chess and your mind also uh, always be active. They say that whoever plays chess and whoever loves mathematics, they don't, uh, in their future, when they, uh, they grow old, they don't get a disease called as Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is forget, forgetfulness. Uh -huh. So I think every student, it's a message from my side, uh, that every student, should, if they really want to have their brain active, their brain cells active, I think they should start uh, working on Rubik's Cube. Uh, they should actually start solving puzzles. They should actually work on um, and play chess. So anything which will actually make them think and then, uh, you know, uh, perform, I think that's the one which will keep their brain cells active. Yeah. Yeah, even I like doing puzzles with my mother. Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. we do lots of jigsaw puzzles. Wonderful. I uh, normally uh, test the students who come to my academy by giving some logical questions. Let's see one logical question, and uh, if you can't, then I can teach you also. Just okay. take a paper, take take a paper and pen, and then write if. Okay. If okay. one if one equals five. Yeah. Next step, 2 is equal to 25. Okay. 3 is equal to 3, 2, 5. Okay. 4 is equal to 4, 3, 2, 5. Okay, wait a sec. 4 is equal to 4, 3, 2, 5, right? Yes. So what is 5 equals to then? It's a logical question. Five, four, three, two, five. Every student goes and tells this answer, but that's a wrong answer. Oh. It's a logical question. When I say logic, according to in English dictionary, the logic word means common sense. So whenever there is a common sense asked in a question, the answer is there in the question itself. The answer is there in the question. You see the first level? Yeah. What is first level? Five. One equals five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then five should be equal to one. <laughs> so the answer for the uh, fifth level is one because it's the other way around, vice versa. One equals five, then five should be equal to one. Uh huh. Okay. Isn't it, isn't it logical? Yeah, it is. So whenever you appear for any math Olympiad uh, next time, and if there is any section called as logical questions section, 
you can get or search an answer in the question itself. Mm, yeah. Okay, remember this for your future. I will. All right, okay. Thank you so much for coming on my show. My pleasure too, Curious Vedant. So I, I was excited because uh, when your dad called me up and then said, you know, there's going to be an interview with the Curious Vedant, I was excited. <laughs> yeah, this was fun. Great. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. All right. Thank Bye. You. Bye bye. Take care. Have a great day. I will you too. Bye. Dear listeners, follow my Facebook page, Curious Vedan, to get updates on my upcoming episodes. To listen at leisure on your phone and get notified about future episodes, subscribe by searching for Curious Vedan wherever you get your podcast, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can also listen to my show on CuriousVedan.com. Thank you for listening to Curious Vedan, and don't forget to rate and leave comments.